finished blow drying my hair and I don't know if you guys can tell but my hair is like hard and stiff yeah very stiff but one thing for sure I can see my Texlex hair and I can see my new growth um, really really well it's very very defined so I definitely did need this treatment I don't know if you guys can see it but there's a lot of texture in my hair and I definitely wasn't seeing this before this protein treatment as you can see look at that that's my Texlex hair and then you can see all this is relaxed down here and I don't want to play with it too much because um, it's very hard and it can break easily or rip out or whatever how my hair is. You won't can't really see my new growth too good because I only have a little bit, but but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um. All right, so I'm gonna wash this out. I'm gonna rinse it out without you know using my fingers. I'm just gonna let the water just run it all out. Wait till my hair is completely soft, and then I will follow up with my keratin moisturizing conditioner. This will be my first time using it, so I'll let you guys know how I feel about this. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I'll do. And then I'll do my regular um, air dry, t-shirt dry, moisturizing seal method. Um, I'll leave that video down below, and I'll also leave the shampoo video down below in case you guys want to know how I shampoo my hair. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks when it's hard. I'm going to follow up. I'm gonna follow up with my conditioner, and then I'll come back, show you guys the results, and I'll probably do a follow-up video on this. Um, a few of you guys wanted to know about moisture overload. I'm gonna do a follow-up video of this protein treatment and let you guys know. Um, yeah. So you do have to blow dry your hair. You want to make sure you blow dry until it's completely hard.